Hello, I'm Jacob. I'm the host of the show. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and just being a part of what we do here. A lot of news have has come out over the previous week about summertime and some, well, I would want to go here, but who knows. One of the retirements is Trey Waynes. Trey Waynes played for the Bengals and the Vikings. And he, in a report, he said, in my mind, it's, it's I'm done with football after seven years. As we said before, he played with the Bengals and Vikings. He played with the Bengals last year, nearly won a Super Bowl. Nadonik and Sue wants to continue his NFL career, but says the Buccaneers are out of the picture, or it looks to be out of the picture. He also stated that going to the Raiders would quote unquote be really cool. Amazon has been busy over the past couple weeks and signing some talent as they sign Brian Fitzpatrick to be in studio for pre-game, post-game, and halftime shows for their streaming service. He will be paired with Tony Gonzalez, Richard Sherman, amongst others. Now he still leaves. He, Fitzpatrick, as he said in his, when he was announced to be part of Amazon, that football is still a big part of his life, but he wants to make a bigger impact in this part of football, not on the field. As I said, he would join Tony Gonzalez and Richard Sherman with their new crew. And it, this crew's starting to come together, I think. Deshaun Watson and the NFL right now are going to start their disciplinary hearing this on Tuesday, this week. On the 28th. Now, if you if you didn't hear from last episode, it goes like this: Watson will go in front of a judge, a jointed appointed judge by the NFL and NFLPA. He will go in front of a judge. The judge will give a recommendation of how long the suspension should be. Then both sides get an appeal. The NFL will appeal and say, and Goodell will come and say, "Well, I, I like it, or I want more." He could say he want he would want a smaller suspension, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. So if he if she says six games, he could say twelve of the whole se twelve games of the whole season. Which then I don't know how this exactly works. If the NFL period completely loses it after Goodell, because he's the final word, or they continue to have their appeal. I don't know exactly, but I, I would think that they would be able to still have their appeal and see if they can motion it back down. But according to the NFLP, that's the thing they are most terrified of, is Goodell going overboard and suspending Watson for the whole 2022 season. They're also are focusing on how all these things will happen on Tuesday, but for right now, it looks like it's going in this direction. What a sad week it was for the Colts as Ravens linebacker Jalen Ferguson was found dead in his house, they, know, they have no idea how, but he was found dead at the age of 26. And roughly the same day, actually several hours later, former Ravens and Colts defensive tackle, Tony Gusa, 
dies at the age of 55. The Ravens, I think, did the best they could. It was shocking. Saragusa was a player who brought the Ravens their first Super Bowl back in 2000. He was an integral part of that Super Bowl win. As Shannon Sharp said, their whole identity for that defense, as great as they were, was to keep was the defensive line's job to keep Ray from getting hit so he can roam sideline to sideline. Sounds simple enough, but this team, as well as like the eighty five Bears, did it better than anyone. A lot of people hold them in that kind of a guard. That they besides the eighty five Bears, this was the best defense. To win a Super Bowl. Tony Saragusa did work for Fox in a very unique role as he was kind of like a sideline reporter, but his whole job was he was in the end zone underneath the goal post. I was explaining how he would stop the opposing defense, how he would be on the opposing defense, and how he would stop the running back, and how he would do this. It was so unique for its time that no one has ever done it again and no one will have that kind of success again. It's a strange feeling to see one of the best defensive tackles ever in Tony Saragusa, an undrafted player, pass away so young. And it's so shocking that Jalen Ferguson, again another young player, another young person, pass away so young. So we're going to end this video with a moment of silence for both Jalen Ferguson and Tony Saragusa. Thank you.